Hello everyone and welcome to my latest Unreal Engine YouTube tutorial that will show you an easy and effective way to create a really simple 3D widget inside of your level. To do that you'll basically need two things, you'll need to create a UI element which will be the widget itself and then to create the blueprint which will allow you to place it in your level in the world that you're building. In this case, I'm building a small flying simulation right here and I like to create a widget that will appear right here in front of my player character or my spaceship, which will simply say find yourself. To do that, I will create first the widget and then the blueprint that will present it in the level itself. I already created a small folder that I'm going to use for the same purpose. It's not actually small, it's the same size like any other folder. And here I'm first of all going to create the initial UI element, which will be the widget. So I'm right clicking and choosing user interface, widget blueprint. Now don't this confuse you. This is only the blueprint for the widget itself. You can't actually create it and drag and drop it into the world. You need to create a blueprint that will be basically a pawn that will use the same blueprint, in this case UI user interface blueprint, to add it to the world itself. I'm going to name this simply V as a widget and I'm going to open it up with a double click that will take me to the UI widget editor. As you can see you have a bunch of stuff right here at the palette element and you can use any of these, however I'm going to use only the common element of text and it's right here I'm going to expand it a bit and I'm going to change the text to something different as you can see here's the content the text like I said I'm going to write find yourself here it is and I'm going to enlarge it as you can see you have right here under the font you have your size I'm going to expand it a little bit and I'm going to try to center it. Now this is going to be an additional issue as you're going to see soon enough, how to center the same widget and have it in the center of your screen or the element you're planning to use. I can also move this which represents kind of the center point for the same widget and hopefully that will allow me to have it in the center of my next step, which is to create the blueprint itself. And I'm going to compile and save and I'm going to create another element here, but it's going to be a blueprint class and it's going to be an actor, a simple actor, which I'm going to call widget B, like blueprint. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to dock it along with the original widget and right here we, I have my default scene root. I need to add to it a component that is widget, not widget interaction but widget itself and from here on I need to actually add the widget I created. So if you search for widget, you'll find user interface and widget class is right now set at none. I need to choose W. And here it is. As you can see, there is a bit of an issue with the size and the centering. I'm not precisely sure how you can kind of compensate for this, but I'm going to do it the dumb and quick way, which is simply to scale the text. So I'm going to go to like this, uh, it should fit now, let's try, uh, maybe a little less. So let's go to uh, 34 and I'm going to scale it up in the world itself. I'm pretty sure there's a much more elegant way to do it and here it is. But for this tutorial I'm going to keep it simple and just do it kind of brute force way. So let's compile and save and right now the widget B blueprint, the actor, should be accessible to my level which I can simply drag and drop here and there it is 
as you can see I added it to the level it's a nice 3d font and I'm going to rotate it like any other element I would have in my level so it faces the camera and I'm going to scale it up again like any other element I could use let's make it even bigger and I'm going to move it a bit deeper into the level let's see what the player camera sees okay we need to push it a bit down again let's check out the camera alrighty and yeah let's move it even further back not into this beautiful mirror object but close enough and right now I should have the same widget ready and set in the game world let's move our actor a bit farther away and a bit more towards the upper edge and let's see it in action and there it is there's the widget I can fly around it it even has that really weird reflection in the mirror object behind it because the rest of the level sees it basically as any other object in the game world or the level itself and that gives you a pretty nice insight into the abilities of your widgets which are a lot bigger than this of course but this will allow you to create some simple but usable and accessible widgets that are in your game world however not from all perspectives that you can see from the back side there is nothing I need to return to the front facing side where it functions and even has the element of interaction with the rest of the game world again a really simple a really easy way to create widgets that you can create with things like for example UIs in your games digital virtual UIs and many other cool things especially if you're building stuff like uh, let's say walking simulators you can use them not just to present information to your players but also to kind of give them another layer of interactions and interactivity so that's it, a really simple, really easy and neat way to create 3D widgets in your games. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please check out the links in the description below. There is a bunch of ways you can help me and support me. Of course, the easiest is to simply subscribe to my channel and be here for the new videos or to leave a like or to leave a comment if you have any questions or want to say something to me or to do all of these things together, which would be awesome. That's all for this Unreal Engine tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica and I'll hope to see you on my next video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.